Water forms liquid. We know water as a liquid flowing from a faucet to fill a glass, rushing by in rivers on their way to the sea, and providing a home for millions of creatures and plants. But water is not just amazing because it's necessary for life on Earth. Water can take many forms beyond the liquid we drink every day. Clouds and fog don't look like liquids, but they are made of tiny droplets of water, so tiny they can float in the air. When the drops clump together and get too heavy to float, they fall from clouds as rain. Solid. When water is cooled way down to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius, it freezes into a solid. Solid water appears as tiny crystalline snowflakes, ice cubes clinking in your glass, or icebergs the size of city blocks floating in the seas of Antarctica. Water in the solid state can even fall from the sky in the form of hail as big as tennis balls and dent the roofs of cars. Gas. When water is heated, it turns into a gas called water vapor. In this form, water is invisible. Water vapor is in the air all around us, but we can't see it. We think of steam as vapor, gas, but actually it's not. Steam is a mist made of tiny droplets of hot water suspended in the air. That's what we see shooting out of the spout of a kettle or hovering over a bowl of soup. Water turns into vapor uh, at room temperature too. Though this happens so slowly, we can't see it. This is how rain puddles on the sidewalk gradually disappear. The sun's warmth evaporates the liquid into gas. Not gas. Steam is actually tiny drops of hot water. Gas. This is what water vapor looks like. Nothing. It's invisible. It's in the air all around you. The water cycle. Condensation. Cold air causes water vapor to turn back into liquid droplets. Precipitation. Water falls to the ground as liquid or solid. Evaporation. The sun's heat turns liquid into vapor that rises up into the air. Collection. Water runs downhill and collects in rivers and lakes, as well as seeps down into the ground. This cycle has repeated over and over again for millions of years. Conserving water. We are lucky that in most places in our country we can turn on a faucet and get clean water to drink. There are many homes in the world where this is not true. Some people need to walk miles every day to get the water they need to drink, wash, cook, and grow food. Though the same amount of water has been on the earth for millions of years, almost all the water on earth is in oceans. Seawater is salty, so we can't drink it or grow plants with it. Fresh water found in lakes, rivers, springs, or underground, the water we drink and use in daily life is only 3% of the water in the world. And 2% of that water is frozen in glaciers and the polar ice caps, so we can't use it. In many parts of the world, we are consuming our fresh water faster than it falls to earth as rain or snow. While a warming climate is drying up lakes and rivers around the world, we need to use our fresh water supply carefully especially in times of drought. If we don't, then all living things won't have the water needed for survival.